All right, everybody out there, Sneakerville, Michael Crispy Coil, doing another video. You're here with your man Crispo. Let's get into it. I just got a delivery uh, in the mail, actually. Shout out to FullyLace.com. All right, I don't have that on there, so don't try it. All right, I got the uh, cool gray uh, rope laces. I checked it out, and it's basically the same size lace. Really, really nice. Matches perfectly. Can't okay, see that, but it says fully laced on the tips. Tell me what you think. I'm extremely happy with it. Quick delivery. I ordered it. Had it in like three days, right in the mailbox. So couldn't be more happy. And I also picked up a pair of black speckles for either my Lakers or my Oreos. Sixes. I haven't decided which one I'm going to put that on yet. But uh, they have several different color speckle laces. They got Gucci laces. They got a whole bunch of shit. And uh, really, really, uh, I mean, fair prices. I mean, kind of, but not really. But I wanted them. And they're nice quality. Anyway, they come in these little uh, coin pouches. Wink, wink. Um, I always thought that was funny when you go into a head shop and order a thousand stamp bags. Like, who puts stamps in these kind of baggies? Like, it's like a wink-wink that, like, everybody knows what they're for. Anyway, yeah, I'll have the stamp bags. I collect them. Meanwhile, dude's rocking, like, a Scully with a hoodie and, like, a pair of Tim's stinking like herb asking for a coin pouch. Yeah, good luck. You know, tell the people at the counter, like, just, you know what I mean? Roll nut. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway... Just got something else in the mail today, Soul Collector Magazine, and uh, I was kind of weirded out because it's the same issue that I basically just got about Lee Ning with Evan Turner and like, but it has some other articles. Of course, they always do the, the pictures that people send in of like rocking, the, you know, kicks and stuff like that. Soul Collector uh, edition of the Hyper Dunks. It's an alright, it's an alright pickup. And I got the new East Bay, $15 off, and everybody who got the Cool Grays, uh, you can check this out. All the, the cool gray gear is on sale. I'm thinking about the vest with the $15 off coupon. You can pick that up for like, you know what I mean? $65 plus shipping and handling. So it's still around 70 bucks, but not bad. You know what I mean? Anyway, got to get the new East Bay. Now, just got a couple movies. Inception, Bang and Flick, A-Team. And I got a Wii game. It's all the old Mario Brothers games re-released for the 9 millionth time. But with this one, you get a, the history of Mario. It's a DVD. And it comes with this, like, manual of, like, how they thought about Mario and, like, who, like, you know, the early drawings. And it tells the, basically the whole story of Mario. Now, I'm a Mario fan. The best Mario game ever. Movie The Wizard. Shout out to Fred Savage. My homie from back in the day. Wonder Years, you know what I'm saying? Winnie Cooper was a bad bitch, too. Shout out to Winnie Cooper. I would have smashed the fuck out of that if I was Kevin Arnold. Anyway, and his homeboy Wayne, his older brother, used to drive away from. Anyway, here I am on a fucking Wonder Years rant. Solid pickup. I don't know if I'm ever going to watch this, but love Nintendo 1. Motherfuckers found. Alright, and I figured I'd do a couple shoes. Now, these are old school shoes. Haven't worn in years, like literally years. Now, uh, they're two odd shoes. Like, uh, this one here is a random ass blazer low. Look at this shoe, like with the peach front and the peach laces, you know what I mean? And it's got this little, like, ball dude up on the top here. I don't know what that ball dude's all about. Um, if anybody knows what this shoe is, you know what I mean? Hit me up with a, uh, a message. Something like that, anyway. It has Nike Sportswear, I believe. Or Nike, Nike Athletics on the inside there. Um, you got Nike in the back with a, uh, looks like a peach color, really soft uh, leather, and like a, almost like an orange Nike. Um, like I said, little cannonball, dude. And on the back here, it says, uh, available at the athletic department are some of the greatest training shoes in the world. Anyway. I believe these shoes were made for a specific store called, like, the track and field capital of, like, the world or some shit like that. I'm not sure. Anyway.
8906. That's what that was. I couldn't see that. Anyway, the tongue is that same leather that goes all the way throughout the shoe. You have that same leather and this brown swoosh. And you have like a real soft uh, suede here in the front. So it's that old model blazer. Anyway, very odd shoe. It came with two pairs of laces. You had this uh, peach color and uh, the obvious white. So I figured I'd show them. I haven't worn them like in fucking years. And then this shoe I fucking love. Shout out to anybody that, that knows about this shoe or has this shoe. I found this shoe in a discount store in Franklin Mills Mall. 150 retail. I got it for like 50 bucks. Some bullshit like that. Oh. My. God. You have the Teleria boot. This is a boot. The leather is incredible. It has lasering. It has this orange suede with the, the fluorescent yellow on the tongue and with that mesh. You have the, uh, you know, the Teleria lines right here on the gray midsole, and then you have the bottom patch. Icy pink with, uh, with details going all the way down to the, to the bottom right there. I don't know what that symbolizes. Um, but it is crazy. When I saw these, I almost had a heart attack, like, on a clearance rack, just hanging out. Only pair there, and the store's not even in business anymore. On the back, it says Teleria with an indented swoosh. It has a little swoosh right there on the tongue, and then a, a patterned inside. It's like a textured insole, which is really dope, with the yellow swoosh. Anyway, Gizzo. Alright. You have all of these holes uh, for breathability. But these are incredible. The leather is like... Nike does not make shoes with this kind of leather anymore. Shout out to Greg M, man. Uh, he was showing a new LeBron 8s in black. And it had that, like, the push leather. You push and it comes back. Um, love those. Love that leather. Love that quality. I love old Nikes. Anyway, uh, oh, I love these shoes, man. I'm like silent, like letting these shoes do the talking, basically. But, um, yeah, I just figured I'd pull out a couple kicks. And, uh, you know, instead of just doing the shoelace video. But, like, oh, man, these are so hot. And uh, let's see if we can find out when these dropped. 6.2606. So it's an old shoe, but I love all the Teleria models. If anybody's got Telerias in an 11 and a half, 12, looking to sell any kind of Telerias, I'm in. All right. Oh, such a hot shoe, man. Can't front on these. Anyway, that's it. That's the video. I always try to show people things. Um, big shout out, uh, you know, t to my PO. Um, yeah, this is what I spend my money on. You know what I mean? So, uh, kill yourself. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Um, enjoy yourself. It's beautiful weather out here in Philly. I don't know what it's like in your neck of the woods. But uh, peace, love, and happiness. All right? Late.